Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. Today we are going to discuss full stack development question bank. So here uh, this is uh, subject code is 21 CS62. First module MVC based web designing. So in this module we have a less number of topics. So you may get uh, what is web application for two marks or one mark question. What is full stack development? Describe front and back end applications. Explain web framework. Describe different types of web frameworks. Also explain benefits of using web development frameworks. So this is eight marks question. And with a need diagram, explain MVC design pattern. Again, this is an important question for the exam. It might be for eight marks also. And explain the advantages of MVC design pattern. And list and explain steps to be followed to install Django, create Django project and creating app inside the project. So we have to explain the steps, uh, installation steps with example. You can refer the videos for this. And with a need diagram, explain how Django process a request. Again, this is also one of the important question with the help of diagram, how to explain this. Write Django app display current date and time and also uh, display current date and time along with offset. That is note use regular expressions. So with the help of wildcards, you have to explain this program. Describe how loose coupling can be achieved with URL cons. And explain the errors in Django with suitable illustration. Again, this is an important question. So coming for module 2, Django templates and models. What is a Django template? Two marks question. Explain creation of template object and rendering a template along with example. It is four to three marks question. Describe context variable lookup in Django template along with example. Explain method call behavior in Django template along with examples. Explain the following uh, template tags along with examples that is if else, for and common statements. And describe attributes of for loop template variable along with example. Explain Django filters along with examples. And explain Django filters uh, Django date filter with parameters. These are the parameters given. And one table is there. You can refer that. Explain philosophies and limitations of Django templates. And with the example, describe different types of template loading and viewing, such as loading templates from the file system, loading templates using get template method, loading templates using render function, that is render to response method. Explain with an example, include template tag. And explain with an example template inheritance. Compare MVC and MVT architecture. With an example, uh, explain models in Django. Explain with an example the basic data access methods, retrieving single object, inserting, updating data, filtering data, ordering data in Django models. Develop a simple Django app that displays an unordered list of fruits and ordered list of selected students for an event and these are some of the sample programs what i have taken you can just refer to that and it's also there in the notes in the textbook that is about the second module and the third module is django admin interfaces and model forms demonstrate the steps to activate the admin interface with an example explain the steps to create super user and access the admin interface explain users groups and permissions in django Demonstrate the steps involved in customizing admin interface with an example. Explain the features of perfect form in Django, 5 marks question. And design a feedback form with topic, message and sender email. The topic should be a single select option. After form validation, an email should be sent to admin and Gmail. So these are some of the sample questions what I have chosen. Explain as stable, as P and as UL methods of Django form, 3 marks. What is bound and unbound form instance in Django? And these are some of the expected questions. You can just have a look at it. And here important is compare keyword arguments and positional arguments. Explain named groups, non-named groups in Django URL conf. Discuss the algorithm the URL conf parser follows with respect to named groups versus non-named groups in regular expression. And uh, explain with an example, passing extra options to view functions. With an example, explain how to make views generic. Explain including other URL cons, how captured parameters work. 
with include function and extra url conf options work with include function in django so as we all know that module 3 is little bit difficult and we have more topics in this and these are some of the expected questions and i cannot assure that these only will be asked so since it is 21 scheme all the questions are important and we cannot skip so these are some of the expected questions hope you understood uh, in the next video i am going to upload the fourth and fifth module you can refer to that guys please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel thank you all